In this video, we're going to take a look at the classroom management tool, classroom screen. So stick around, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Hello everyone, welcome back to iTech On Demand. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to upgrade your classroom by using a, an awesome classroom management tool called Classroom Screen. This website helps teachers stimulate engagement in the classroom. This is an online tool that allows teachers to display instructions for the lesson in a clear and visual way. Teachers can choose over 13 widgets to support classroom activities and to help students get to work. There are three plans. You have the free basic plan option and you can see here what's included. You also have the pro option, which is $29.90 for the year. My favorite part of this option is you can save your screens and you can also upload custom images. This is actually the version that I will be demonstrating with today. And then you have the last option, which is the School Pro option. On the home page, you can sign up for an account for free, or you have the option to launch. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch because I do have an account. Before I log in, I will let you guys see what the free version looks like. So I'll let you take around take a look around here and now I'm going to log in all right so I'm signed in to my account and we're going to look at the left side of the page where you have my screens personalized account and the help center down at the bottom new screen new poll and new group maker we're going to just take a look at my screens right now I do have several screens that I use in my collection my middle school collection I have the first day of school and then I have each day of the week. Mindset Monday, Ticker Simple Tuesday, Wealth Wednesday, Term Thursday, and FinTech Friday. And I'll let you guys take a sneak peek at what one of these looks like. There are multiple options of the widgets that you can have displayed on your screen or your widget. I have the date, I have a timer, and then I have a little notepad where I can type what I want my students to do each day. So it's a little agenda. Um, but the options that you have are endless. You can change your background. You can choose random names. You can roll dice. You have the sound level media that you can insert. I'm going to click on this so you guys can see the media. You have image, YouTube, embed, and webcam. You can also choose to have a QR code displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of these. Let's see here, there we go. Um, you can draw, you can add text, which is what I have here. You can have work symbols. So you can have it to where students, if you want them to be silent, whisper, um, ask a neighbor or work together. And notice you can move these things around on the screen as well. You can also click on settings and you can do a little editing for each of these tools as well. Here's the traffic light. So if you want it on red, yellow, or green to kind of show uh, students what they need to be doing, you can certainly do that. You have the timer, which I already have on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of those. You have a stopwatch. Um, you have the clock. There we go. And again, you can edit these settings, you guys. And then the calendar, which I have on the screen. So that's a little sneak peek at what um, mine looks like. I'm going to go down here to the demo section. But before I do that, let's take a look at personalize. You can see what's under here. You can change your language. You can make sure that it warns you before it deletes one of your widgets. You can upload pictures where you can insert those pictures onto your widget. You can also change the background by inserting pictures as well. You have a name list, so you can add names um, to the list. So for each class, let's say I want to add it for my first block. 
then I will add all those names and save those names there and so forth and so on. And here are my widgets down here at the bottom. So you can disable widgets if you don't want them to display. And then also you can toggle on the counter. It will show you a counter of how many widgets that you have currently um, on your screen. So I'm back to my screens and down here for demo, I've already opened up a new poll and a new group maker. Now I really don't use these features, but I clicked on poll. We're going to go in and take a look at the poll. So basically you can ask students questions and they can go to the website here and put in your join code to answer your question. So this could be a good icebreaker at the beginning of class or a good exit ticket at the end of class. Next, I clicked on Group Maker, and here is the widget for that. Again, I don't really use these, but what you can do is set up groups. So again, you might select your first block. You might type in names. So for example, name one, name two, name three, and you can put those students in groups. So hopefully, let's see what happens here. Create groups. All right, and there are my groups. Notice you have some tools on the right hand side. You can definitely make sure that you save your screens. You also have your settings that you can go in and edit. And of course, you can maximize your screen, minimize your screen and so forth. I'm gonna click on home to go back to home. The last button is the screen button and it's going to look like the ones that I showed you here. Um, over here on this side, you can change the color of your, um, your, your widget background here. So I'm going to put that back on blue. And here is your add collection. So if you wanted another collection, you can simply click add collection and it will add a new collection for you. Now you can certainly duplicate your widgets. All right, so that made a copy. You can save by using the floppy disk here. You can move your widgets around so you can click and drag and move them. So let's see, I'll do that there. All right. You can delete your widgets. Yes, you want to delete it. You can also move your collections down and up. There we go. And the last thing I want to show you is once you go into your widget, over here on the right hand side, when you click on settings, you have some different options of what you can do, such as change the name. Um, let's see, group maker, you can upload background images, background pictures are automatically here. So if I wanted to click on what they have here and change the background picture, I can certainly do that. So there we have it. And then here is my background color. So you could change the color there. Notice when I go back to home, you can see that background picture here. So this is Classroom Screen and the website is classroomscreen.com. I highly recommend it for the classroom. I hope this tool has been helpful to teachers. If you like this content, like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time iTech On Demand posts a new video.